Welcome back to Every Other Carl. I'm Carl, and today I'm going to compare the difference between my consumer grade leaf blower and my professional grade leaf blower. I have the Husqvarna 150BT and the Husqvarna 580BFS. I'm going to put some stats on the screen to show what these actually have, what's different about them, but then I'm going to do an actual comparison blowing a bunch of leaves and show you the difference as to what these two can do. On the left is the Husqvarna 150BT, or our consumer grade blower. This is the highest selling Husqvarna model and they recommend it to homeowners with up to an acre of land. It's got a two cycle 51cc motor producing 2.16 horsepower. It can produce wind up to 270 miles per hour, but miles per hour really doesn't matter that much for leaf blowers. What really matters is cubic feet of air per minute moved, or CFM. The 150BT can move 765 CFM and has a blowing force of 22 newtons. The pack weighs 22.5 pounds. That's manageable for both me and my wife, although it's still a bit of a workout if you're wearing it for over an hour. The decibel rating according to the Husqvarna marketing is 110. I'll talk a little bit more about this when I talk about the Pro model. Finally. The 150BT is listed for sale at Lowe's right now for $349. Over on the right, we have the Pro model, the Husqvarna 580BFS. This model is recommended to professional landscapers or homeowners with over an acre of land. It also has a two-cycle engine, but larger displacement at 75.6cc, producing 4.59 horsepower. It can produce wind up to 220 miles an hour, but again, that doesn't matter so much. It moves a full 1,000 CFM at 47 newtons. These numbers represent a huge difference in capability over the consumer model. The pack weighs 27.1 pounds. Those extra 5 pounds are noticeable when you're wearing them for a long time. And then the decibel level comes in at 106. This is a bit strange to me since this pack is noticeably louder than my 150BT. And I always wear ear protection with this one whereas I really don't feel the need to wear the earmuffs with the 150BT. I did buy this pack used and it's older, so maybe it's gotten a little bit louder over time, but I think this machine in general is louder. Like I said, I bought this pack used. Its retail price is $639.99 right now on the Lowe's website. I was able to get it for $285 on Facebook Marketplace. That was a great deal from the owner of a landscaping company who was getting out of the business and selling all of his equipment. Husqvarna sells this same machine as the 580BTS. The only difference is that the throttle and kill switch for the BFS, the one that I have, is on a separate stock on the left-hand side of the machine, instead of mounted on the tube on the right-hand side of the machine, which it is on the BTS. Both of my machines have similar straps and padding and are quite comfortable to wear. The size of the air tubes is a good indicator of how much more air the professional blower can put out. Just for reference, this is my property. It's about an acre and pretty much surrounded by trees. We get a lot of leaves every fall, so having the right blower for the job is a big deal. All right, enough stats, let's get to testing. All right, this is a nice hefty stack of leaves right here. It rained for about a week, so there's some moisture left in these leaves, but it's been dry for a couple of days now. Uh, most of these came from my entire front lawn which I just cleaned off pushing them towards the back of the house I'm gonna try this two different ways the left side I'm gonna go with the 150 BT that's the consumer grade see how fast I can push that stack of leaves back and then I'll come over and do the same stack of leaves on this side with the 580 BFS see how fast I can push those back I think you'll see quite a difference
As you can tell from that little example, the professional machine was able to get the same job done in less than half the time. A minute 12 for the 150 BT and 31 seconds for the 580 BFS. All right, let's do a few more tests. All right, so that was side by side comparison. Now I'm gonna try to push the entire stack of leaves and show you the difference. I pulled my Ryobi battery powered blower out for a full comparison, but as you can probably tell, the Pro 580 BFS is able to blow holes through the wall of leaves and push the entire stack back, while the consumer level 150 BT, even though it's still strong, it needs several passes to move the same stack. Usually I move the top layer of leaves and then come back for the bottom layer, and I'll need to clear leaves behind the stack to get any real movement. The big 580 BFS can just blow the whole thing. is done and I am very happy that I have both of those machines but as you could tell the 580 BFS is a beast I mean if you're a professional you have to get a professional level machine if you're a homeowner with something about the size of an acre which is about what I have with a lot of trees you're gonna do yourself a favor by doing the old buy once cry once method and getting the biggest machine you can get uh, that is the biggest machine that Husqvarna sells, and I'm very happy that I can get it. The fact that I was able to get it used for 285 bucks, that was a great deal, but you can find them on Marketplace, um, is, is also a huge factor because that is less than what I spent on a brand new 150 BT. So I definitely recommend going that way as well if you don't want to pay the full price. I hope you learned something from this video, or at least you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or thoughts on the machines that you would suggest, Go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. But until next time, I'm Ever the Carl. Please like the video if you liked it, subscribe, and I'll see ya.